r slash adulting. True Crime Junkie 17 says. Parents of Reddit, share some parenting stories that will cure my baby fever. Thanks. Everyone around me is pregnant and it makes me a bit depressed. Put me back in line. Pelewis Consinite says. I have a memory of my child around age 2 screaming and sobbing for a good half an hour because she wanted her mama. At the time she was sitting on my lap. I'm her mama. Prestigious Emu4193 says. Take the wrong kid home from the park. Pelewis Consinite says. I'm happy to report that she is actually smart. She was just having some big, frick, I'm feelings at the moment. Chad Abraxas says. Jeffrey Damer was a baby once. Sfexy96 says. Just like Hitler. Virtual Chwarboys says. My wife was driving with our younger son one day and was passing by the house of a friend who has always been child free. He piped up from the back seat since he recognized the house and asked, son, mom, what happens to people who don't have kids? My wife thinks oh crap. Where is this question going? Was this an early but odd birds and the bees question? Was this something even more odd? Who knows? As she's pondering this in the brief panic stricken moments, while she's trying to come up with an answer, he follows up with this, son, are they rich? Apparently, he had heard my wife and I discussion some latest kid related expense, and made the assumption that having kids was keeping us from being rich and famous. So. Be rich or have kids. Entirely your choice. Colon dash close bracket. Jersey 8894 says. My youngest son slept 6 hours on his first night home from the hospital, I. Thought awesome he's gonna be a great sleeper like his brother, then. Night 2 happened all the way up, to age 5 the boy slept 20 minutes at a time, that. Is it, 0.20. Minutes of sleep, awake. For an hour, 0.20. Minutes of sleep, awake. For 2 hours, and. So it went for 5 freaking years. Dahlia74 says. My parents and I went on vacation, when I was a toddler, 8 hours drive in the car. I cried and screamed the entire time. No breaks. My mom still has a headache from that day. Also go on TikTok, and look up free birth control you're welcome lol. Apprehensive Plum 369 says. My mom still has a headache from that day. Squirly Squirrel says. My friend had twin boys. When they were about one she popped them down for their normal daytime nap. She heard giggling about getting up time and went in to get them. They had smeared poo over the whole room, fished. Out of their nappies. Walls, door, carpet, all. Of it. They opted to pull up the carpet as the smell would not go, it. Ruined the wallpaper too. So 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 gross, she. Threw up while trying to clean it. Morbidnid says. My oldest taught himself to pee standing up when he was just over a year old, which sounds awesome, until I would find turd logs on the floor. He was peeing in the toilet, but didn't know to turn around and sit down to poop. He was so proud of himself too. Daochekano81 says. Two words. Teenage boys. Krasit a mess on earth says. Diaper blowouts. Fibless Mish says. Not a parent, but think on this. Sure babies are cute, if you like that sort of thing. But what you are really talking about is a lifelong commitment to care for and love this person. There will never be a time that you are not their mom. Right up to the moment you die, you are their mom and worry about them. And I have proof of that with my mom who was still worrying about me at 55 years as I was caring for her at 95 years. So think on that. r slash adulting Throw 37,294,719 away says Late 20s, 
people I grew up with keep dying from fentanyl. No one warned me about this. This year, two people so far that I grew up with have died of fentanyl or opioid overdoses. It's so sad. I wasn't close with either of them anymore, but we hung out as teenagers. I don't quite know why it's so upsetting, since we weren't really friends anymore but man. It's so, frick, I'm heartbreaking to see their deaths tear their families apart. One person relapsed, after being sober for 3 years after his brother died from Fent. It's so freaking sad. No one warned me about this, frick fentanyl. It's an epidemic. Sistasaline says. You still care about them, even if you guys drifted apart. Your reaction is normal. I'm around your age and hearing about people I went to school with dying is surreal. It makes you confront your own mortality, which we usually don't do a lot at our age. Comixital says. Okay then, warning ahead of time, over the next few decades you will also have peers who die from alcoholism. Not bad Cena514 says. My 19 year old cousin recently odd off Fent. The cop who called me sounded absolutely exhausted for how many kids are dying off this shit. My cousin's piece of doo doo friends also robbed him, and didn't call for help as he died. This drug is supposed to be by prescription only, so how is it on the streets like candy? Quite frankly I think they are letting this happen, especially in cities with high homelessness population. Inspik says. I worked with a police officer who was injured on the job, and was prescribed Vicodin for the pain. After the officer returned to work, it slowly became evident that they had become dependent. The officer started behaving irrationally, and then started doing things like nodding off during shift briefing and becoming unreliable in performance of their duties. The officer was then involved in an off-duty incident in a local department store that resulted in them being suspended and eventually resigning. The last I heard, there was a warrant for their arrest in a neighboring county for forging a prescription. This all happened in the space of little over a year. Zbiawangsa0 says. No one warned you about what? I'm sure since you've been a kid don't do drugs has been the saying. FMB320 says. Why would anybody warn you about this? How much notice period world have been acceptable? I don't get what you mean. Nobody warned me about 9 over 11. Manopiece1 says. Put the blame where it belongs, at the feet of the D, the FDA and especially the Sackler family. Dynamichinta says. You haven't seen advertisements or SAS or anything regarding the dangers of fentanyl over the last decade? They have billboards here in the middle of Austin TX. I've seen it on the internet dozens of times. Kajenthadam says. Mr. Mackie did. Scurry3-1 says. Wait till your 30s and 40s. Drug overdose, suicide, murder, and accidents are going to be a common thing. IIIAA2022 says. You're an adult. Why do you think it's anyone's responsibility to warn you about that? R slash adulting. Ladderbugladderbug1 says. What are your kitchen grocery essentials? What would you consider the basic grocery kitchen items to buy when moving out for the first time? Like, things to stock up your pantry and fridge that won't spoil too quickly, but you find yourself using slash needing often. Grievous47 says. Honestly I would not suggest you buy a bunch of things you think you might need. Just buy what you do need as you start to prepare meals and eventually you will build that up naturally. Slav Squad 98 says. Garlic and onion powder are the main essentials. Contented 490 says. Oil, butter, and salt slash seasonings. I also like having bouillon and minced garlic on hand. Frobert says. These are the basics I always keep stocked. You can build meals around them, and if you're having a tight week, you can even make a filling meal without buying anything else. Fritch, milk, eggs, 
butter, cheese, condiments pantry, dried pasta, jarred pasta sauce, rice, canned veggies, canned beans, cream of chicken or mushroom, canned soup, tortillas, canned tuna and chicken, breadcrumbs, all-purpose baking mix, flour, and sugar cooking essentials, cooking oils, salt, pepper, spices, vine gars. Jazz Quest says. Beer. Booby Expert says. All the seasonings you can find at the store, flour, sugar, cornstarch, yeast, butter, plenty of meats, canned food, frozen veggies, cheese. Some of these, like the yeast, are because I'm a baker, but you never know when you'll need the random stuff like that. CWSJR2323 says. Bread flour, all-purpose flour, jar of bread yeast, granulated cane sugar, molasses to add to the cane sugar, to make light and dark brown sugar, thin spaghetti, angel hair, fettuccine pasta, olive oil, wrapper seed oil, canola oil, accent, unsalted butter, whole milk, eggs, coffee, oatmeal, 5 pound russets potatoes, a variety of 1 pound bags of beans, 3 pound onions. Seasonings are from Dollar Tree, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, coriander powder, and red curry powder. Also tea bags from Dollar Tree for sun tea as that tea is 5 a quart replacing soda pop. I make my own safe food coloring, but rarely use any. Meats would be your choices. This would be my basic starting out stuff, if we had to start over, like after a tornado. Combat Puzzles says. Think about what you would see yourself actually eating, pull up the recipes, and make a list of the common pantry ingredients. Maledicma made 0317 says. Go to Walmart and get all the $1 seasonings. Any canned goods of food you lead. Ornarishi Fuda 74 says. It's a little unconventional, but a jar of miso paste stays forever in the fridge, and nice to always have the option, to make a quick soup, also some flavorings for marinades and such. Trashy E says. Just want to say, seasonings slash spices are expensive f, if you don't have many, start off with getting garlic and onion powder and maybe another spice you like that you must have, then slowly as you make grocery trips get one to two spices every trip or every other trip depending, how long in between you go. You'll be able to build up your spice cabinet, and save some money. Soap, poisoning says. White vine gar, it has a lot of different uses in recipes, and for food preservation, and it can be used in place of many, but not all, household cleaners. Fun tip, cleaning fruit and vegetables with a vine gar rinse will remove some pesticides, and keep your produce fresh much longer. Friendly at 8528 says. For me. Oil, salt, vine gar and pepper those are the basic needs, that doesn't spoil fast. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.